How you guys doing today? Mark Franks here. Guys, today I'm going to explain to you why I decided to upgrade my hard drives. Now, I have a, a, a regular HDD hard disk drive. This is two terabytes. And I decided to go ahead and upgrade this to the new SSD external hard drive. Now, this SSD external hard drive is only 500 gigabytes, and this is two terabytes, but it's still a major difference here. And I still recommend the SSD. This still takes the cake, guys. And in this video, I'm gonna explain to you why. Let's get started. All right, guys, so one of the first things I wanna talk about is the aesthetics. So how do these hard drives look? All right, so the old school, as we can see, in the new school, the SSD, the old school looks a little more bulky. You know, I really can't put this in my pocket. It just looks, it's just a square, all right? As far as the look form, I mean, it just looks like a square. Now, the SSD on that on the hand, it looks very premium. It's smaller. Uh, it's it's it looks more robust. You know, you're feeling this. You can tell that that's inside parts in here. You know, I'm feeling this. I can't really tell. It has a hook on it, so I can attach it to my backpack or something like that. So, from an overall aesthetics uh, standpoint, the SSD does look better. Now, as far as functionality. Now, this is an old school hard drive. So guys, it has a disc inside that constantly spins and has a, a head that goes back and forth to retrieve data. All right, so this is an old school hard drive. All right, and this particular hard drive goes about 150 uh, megabytes per second. So as far as its speed, um, so it's, it's a regular older hard drive and it's, it's kind of fragile. Because some it's a moving uh, part, it's a mechanical. It's always moving. So you know, if you, you know, if you drop it or something, you can really mess up your data. All right. So as far as storage capacity, what you really want is reliability. So if you drop this on accident, you know, there's your data. All right. So guys, what this is the old school mechanical spinning disk hard drive. Speed is 150 megabytes per second. That's really not that great if you are transferring large files, large video files. Uh, it will take a while, especially if you're backing up your computer. All right, so as far as the functionality, that's the topology of the hard disk drive. Now the functionality of the SSD is it doesn't have any moving parts like that. It's just a, a microchip, guys, but it's extremely fast. This one in particular goes about, uh, as far as the read and write, very similar, about a, a thousand megabytes per second. Guys, that is moving, all right? That's moving. You can transfer your video files, you can back up your computer uh, in, in no time, guys. So I would definitely, as far as speed-wise, definitely recommend this. Now, this particular thing, again, there's no moving parts. It's just microchips. So you can drop this, it's pretty robust. You can drop this from two meters up and it's still, it's still good. I mean, I don't mind doing this <laughs> with, uh, with the SSD, very robust. And that's something you want. You want something that's robust. You want something that's reliable. I believe this has an IP rating of 55, IP55. I'll put that on the screen if I have it wrong there. So it's water resistance. I wouldn't submerge it in water, but it is water resistant. It can get wet and it, and it should be fine. Now, as far as our data information, now we want we do want that reliability, and this one right here definitely wins, definitely robust. Uh, it comes with the handle, so you can put it in your backpack. So if you're going somewhere, it can take a beating and keep on kicking, and keep on keep on going, guys. And it's extremely fast. It's so fast, you know. I use when I'm editing videos, I just put my videos on this and I edit it straight from the program. I use the program, I use a, a video program for my Mac mini and I just edit, I edit it straight from the program and I, I, I haven't really seen any glitches. Whereas when I use this old uh, standard hard drive, I did see a glitch or two if I'm editing from the hard drive. All right. Now, as far as price, as prices now, I believe I got this for about, $70 for two terabytes. So, I mean, that's the one advantage of getting an old school hard drive. So I got this for $70 for two terabytes. And I got this particular one. I think I paid almost 90 something dollars for only 500 gigabytes. This is two terabytes. This is 500 gigabytes. And uh, you know, you know, so you, if, if you don't mind the speed, 
and it's slow and you really want to back up something then you can get this but i mean it's it's also very fragile remember it's mechanical so there's a spinning disc inside it's old school so as far as reliability as far as the risk factor you know you probably can lose your data but this one is a lot more expensive external ssds are a lot more expensive than the old school hard drives so um just do know that this was like almost a hundred dollars for just 500 gigs so i think it's going to be maybe like 200 dollars for up to uh two terabytes for, uh, for the ssd but it's just extremely fast and that speed you will definitely notice a speed a difference especially if you're moving things around a lot and you have video files but but i mean other than that i would definitely choose this <laughs> So that's why, I mean, I, you know, I, just like I said, I do a bunch of video editing and this is just much faster. It has less glitches when I'm, when I'm transferring this from the computer. Uh, sometimes I, I, from my, I go from my SD card to the computer and then for, to the computer to this SSD uh, card here. So, cause my SD card connects to my camera. So, and I just needed to go, for, uh, I needed to go pretty fast cause I like to do things quickly. So this right here takes the cake, it's more robust. I can just put it in my pocket and I'm ready to go. I can have it plugged into my Mac mini for a while. It does get a little warm, but it's not unbearable. So I did, I did like that. Uh, and it's also very quiet. You know, I did, when I plug this in, I can hear it. I can hear the, the, the head moving, accessing different parts of the disc. So it is a little loud there, but you're not gonna get any type of, uh, noise out of an ssd but but that's what like that's what uh, when I, so that's why i want to let you guys know um why i chose the ssd over my old school hard drive now i still may use this for certain things some deep storage devices something that i'm not accessing but for right now the transition is going to be to the ssd and i will be using this using this as my main my main storage device all right guys so this is sandisk portable ssd device guys i think it only comes in one color it has the black here with the orange trim looks pretty good now as far as the dimensions it's about four lengths four inches by two inches so it's pretty small pretty compact it takes a usb-c cord Guys, and if uh, you don't have a USB-C on your laptop, don't worry, it comes with a USB USB 3.0 adapter, so you can plug that in. So that's compatible with USB 3.0 and also USB-A, all right? So guys, if I help you out with your, if you're what, guys, if you're in the neighborhood of getting a, an external portable device, I would definitely get the SSD over the hard disk drive. Uh, simply because it's just faster, it's, it's more robust, it's quieter, and it, and it, it can run more things. Uh, uh, you got a comparison of the, the old school hard drive is 150 megabytes per second as far as data transfer speed compared to the 1,000 uh, uh, megabytes per second data transfer speed of the SSD. It's just, it's just no competition. So I would definitely recommend you, you guys getting an SSD over our HDD. Now, if you're on a budget and you do need a lot of space and you don't mind the speed, if you're on a, a short budget then, budget, then yeah, you can go ahead, go ahead and get you a hard disk drive. You shouldn't have any problems there as well, all right? But that's it for today, guys. If you have any questions, please leave your questions below. Uh, if I help you out a little bit, guys, uh, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I promise you there'll be many more vid videos to come. But until then, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.